it's a it's going down to the last group game, isn't it, on Thursday? Um, I, I guess you know what you need to do. You beat Essex, and you should be through. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's uh, turned into a must-win game now, but um, it's nice that it's still in our hands. We can still decide if we get a good result on on Thursday. So yeah, it should be exciting for us all. Is that the key thing? This is it's in your own hands. If you do the if you do the thing on Thursday, then job done. Yeah, definitely. Like we've played some good cricket throughout this tournament so far. So we know if we turn up, play 100%, we should hopefully have enough to get us through. Yeah, just in the broader aspects of the competition so far. Are you pleased? both individually and collectively as a team with how you play? Uh, definitely, yeah, it's been nice to get an opportunity. Like, it's quite a tough team to get into, full strength, so it's uh, yeah, it's been nice to get a run out. We've played some nice grounds, some nice experiences. I think that's perhaps one of the things, when you looked at this competition this year, because of the 100, did you feel as though you could potentially get some more opportunities? Uh, yeah, looking at the 100, like, we knew we've got quite a strong side, so a lot of our lads will get picked up in the 100 teams, so it's always going to be opportunities we thought for the younger lads and um, like I said lads like Jack Morley putting some good performances, Baldson's putting some good performances so yeah, it's been nice to all of us young lads who played a lot of second team cricket together to get a go. Yeah I guess it's quite a nice atmosphere yeah. right, with you with you get guys that have known each other for quite some time. Yeah definitely like I said and even some of the older lads who've played a lot of first team cricket we've played second team cricket when we've like, been coming through so it's been quite a nice environment for us all to be in.